Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, our virtual audience is filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Alicia from the Motor Why City, Detroit, be in Michigan. It. Welcome to Divorce Court, Alicia. We're so happy to have you with us. No, put me on there. Fuck is you talking about? I talk to this judge how she need to be talked to. As my special guest today, I'm sending you a signed copy of my book, Sis, Don't Settle. Sis, don't settle. What the fuck would I do with that book? You need to not settle for anybody less than me. Got that love on your neck. I put some loving in your life. As my Where'd she get that chain from? I get her a better one. Look at this judge. Tell her don't judge me. Special guest, Miss Bella Nicole Rose. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Mr. Ken Golett. Yes, Your Honor. To divorce court today. I understand the two of you are not married. Correct. <laughs> the fuck did you just say in the chat Willie Bigsby? <laughs> this, this nigga named Willie Bigsby talking about I suck her ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> but you are engaged. Correct. Right. And you're here in divorce. Okay, I'll start with you, Miss Rose. Why don't you give me some background? So, after we got engaged, yeah. um, his ex-wife has been a problem. Mm -hmm. um, of course, his kids has been a problem. Not necessarily a problem to me. It's the fact that they don't know about me. And I can't see myself marrying somebody. One, his kids don't know about me, so we wouldn't know if they like me or dislike me, one. Mm -hmm. And then I don't see the reason why his ex-wife don't know anything about me. She doesn't know you exist? No. You've been engaged for a year? Yes. Are you planning a wedding? Yes. Well, when are you gonna spring I it on everybody, sir, when you walk down the aisle? <laughs> What's going on? Why, why, why do you say you're here? Today? I believe I'm here today because Bella, she fabricates the truth. I think that her insecurity... Is he getting married right now? Why is he wearing a tux? Delusional thoughts in her head. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when somebody blames you for something, it's because they're guilty of the same thing. As, as I understand it, Mr. Gallet, you've been engaged for a year, you're planning a wedding, planning to get married Ew. soon, and Ms. Rose said your family... Your ex, your ex wife, and your children don't know it, that she exists. Correct. Is this true? That's that's partly true. Yes. Why? At the beginning, when I first met Bella, I was very upfront and told her that I was not looking for anything. Um, I was not trying to rush into anything. Mm -hmm. I had just recently got out of a divorce. Mm -hmm. When we started talking, and we we became very close uh, because we became pregnant. Uh, Bella didn't carry the child long. She had a miscarriage. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, she had a miscarriage, and, and, and it was very devastating uh, for, for the both of us. However, Bella feels that it doesn't affect me as much as it affects her. And so she became very depressed, went through a whole postpartum uh, deep depression. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what made her jealous of my relationship with my ex-wife and my children. Because the two of you have been together for two years. Yes, ma'am. And you've been engaged for one year. But what is the reason that now all this time has gone by that your family, the people who she says are the closest to you, still don't know she exists. I don't trust her. I don't trust her motive. I would be on the phone with my son uh, on FaceTime um, and she would make these little stank remarks and, stank. and would try to cause drama. Bella sees her kids every day. We both have children. I raise my kids through FaceTime. And so I don't want anything to prevent me or cause me to not have access to my children. Mm -hmm. Give me another example of why you say oh. his prior marriage is an issue for you. She comes in town, she stays at his house. A few days, I can understand, but it, she has, you know, stayed at his house for a few months. That's a relationship to me, and it's not okay, especially if she don't know anything about me. You know, I come over there, he don't want me inside the house, he'll stop me at the door, I'm calling his phone, he's not answering, I'm texting, he's not texting back. M Ms. Rose can't come over, she, she can't come in the house, she can't visit. She can't. Ms. Rose shows up at my house trying to start a lot of drama. And at the time when my ex-wife did come to town, and uh, Why she... is she staying with you for three months? It was the summer visitations with my children. He still's not answering on why the ex-wife do not know about me, one. The kids don't know about me. He wants to use insecurities. I went through postpartum depression really bad. I'm not going to deny that. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why when he first... You know, I don't know what's going on because the judge is pretty. I can't stop looking at her. Oh, 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 oh. 
Jude Faith already has her ball kicked. Why do they not know that this relationship exists? I have a clear explanation for that. What is it? When I got engaged to Bella, everything was gonna be traditional, you know. I tell my ex and my kids about Bella and everything like that. What Bella didn't tell you is about her rendezvous with um, some guy she calls Preacher. What? Yeah. He's supposed to be some motivational life coach or something like that. Mm -hmm. Kevin uh, Samuels. This dude told her that uh, she needs to stop sleeping with me in the middle of my engagement. And so whoa, whoa. Um, I had a big problem with, first of all, you disrespecting our relationship and taking advice from some other guy mm -hmm. without consulting both of us. If he's some life coach or whatever, you know. He wasn't someone you knew? I don't even know if he have a church. I don't know anything about this guy. Me and him actually been friends for years. Did he start giving you advice on your relationship? And well, he did be actually giving me advice at really every since I started going through postpartum. Oh. Um, and I actually felt like it was great advice. So when me and him started going through our issues, his thing was you can't, you know, provide happiness and love somebody else if you don't even love yourself because it was days that I didn't even want to get out the bed. It, who is an old pa Is he a pastor, an old yes. pastor friend of yours? Yes. Okay, you motivational speaker slash life coach? Yes. So he gave you some relationship advice and said, yes. maybe it would be good for you to practice abstinence. Correct. This was after you were engaged. Correct. So you can... You need to find yourself so that make you not want to do the nasty? What do... How that's going to stop you from finding yourself? That don't even make sense. That's going to complicate who you are as a person. All you got to do is do the nasty with your significant other. How in the world are he clouding your judgment of who you are? How did that work out for your relationship? Um, it went really well on How? my end. Were you so concerned about her relationship with this man? Because, first of all, who is this guy? Mm -hmm. Where did he pop up, you know, from? And she cut me smooth off uh, when she started talking to this guy. And, uh, and then she told me that she wanted a break. We have... Oh, yeah, this lady's suspicious. You all of a sudden go linking with him and now you don't want to touch me no more? Now you want to take a break from me? Yeah, that's, that's sneaky. You should be single, lady. Had a discussion and we made up. So what made you break the, the abstinence vow after the old pastor friend told you that was the best thing to do? We started drinking and I'm not a drinker. So I guess it was the alcohol that made her cheat on me too. Ah! Well, technically, just what? like he keep, hold on, let me say this, just like he keep, you know, throwing it out there, he don't know who this person is, I don't know who his ex-wife is. So, during... Why his eyes moving like that? Why his eyes doing that? He's sleeping with the ex-wife. The time that he had his ex-wife here, um, I reached out to my friend and, you know, we got together and... Yeah, and we what? had... Damn, they did all that. They had to bleep it out. We had... Blah, 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 blah. They did a lot, didn't they? And, you know, we got together and... Yeah, and we what? had... Oh, do you see what her mouth said? Your your pastor friend who yes. told you to practice abstinence? Absolutely. Yes. Pastor friend is so smooth, bro. Not only did he get you to separate from your fiance, but he told you to stop sleeping with your fiance so your, your, your feelings as a woman would, would be longing for some form of male attention and then he just swoop in and give it to you. Oh, that's such a good technique. You've been manipulated and you're sitting here with a giant smile on your face. He ran the ultimate game on your dumb ass. Look at this lady. She don't even feel like she's been used and she been used you're kidding no ma'am and he's married oh my god and he got some action on the side um recently um i found out that i was pregnant again who um, kid is it cramping a lot and i went to the doctor and i was having another miscarriage it was kins i'm gonna say but i did have intercourse with the preacher we did have protective sex just to throw that out there so i'm I'm about to be sick. I want to throw up. This lady standing in front of us like she's this wholesome green blazer bitch. And now, all this fucking information is coming out that she doing all this sneakiness behind the scenes. Get the hell out of here, bro. Um, I can't say it was his, but anything can happen. 
Um, when was this? You so didn't you tell know. me anything about No. So Your Honor. I can't. Miss um, Rose, Miss Rose, Miss Rose. Your Honor, the way I Ms. found Rose, out about Ms. Preacher, Rose. I have receipts. I, I was sitting there when I, when I was at her house. This message pops up on the computer what screen. What is that? Cool. I'll come up there at like 12 p.m. like usual, but... Why's why's the peach with the water? Why the peach with the water? Why peach in the water? Why peach with the water? It's an exchange between her and preacher. Mm -hmm. Clearly states that she's been talking to this guy and engaging with him way longer than she's she's telling me. So I drove to her job. She's getting out of the car, wig twisted, <laughs> lipstick smeared, and she's kissing this guy. You saw that? Yeah, so I walked up and confronted him. I told him I was gonna slap the protein out of him because he was messing with my fiance. No, your fiance messing with him. Don't try to flip this script. You know exactly what your fiance over here doing and she got you over here in divorce court. I, I didn't fight him because my, my argument is clearly with her yeah. and not with him. She brought him into our situation. Let me see the messages. So you write to him, hey handsome, grand risings king. So Here y'all go with these grand risings, I swear to God. He's writing, don't start nothing, you can't finish after you write to him, hey handsome. You reply, I can show you better than I can tell you. And this old pastor friends of yours says, keep that same energy for when I come up there, what time? And you say you have an 11.30 and a 2.30 and you're free between those times. Cool, I'll come up there at the 12 p.m. like usual. And he sent a peach and some water droplets. <laughs> and you said, your wish is my demand. So he came up to your job, you hooked up at work? Yes. Oh my God, they was rocking it on the clock. Oh my goodness. She was getting paid while she was getting laid. Look at this lady here. Look at this lady we got on our hands. She was actually getting paid for her time off. Look at this lady. She was securing a bag while she was out here sleeping around. Look at this girl. Okay. And this is this the man who you say is a friend of yours and was, has get, been giving you relationship advice all this time, saying if you can't love yourself, you can't love nobody else? Correct. He sounds like a predator. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. To be 100% keeping it 100 with you. Okay. And he sounds like he took advantage of you when he knew that you were vulnerable and he knew that you were weak and he knew that you were going through a difficult time. He took advantage of it. He took advantage of the respect that he thought you would have for him as a minister and as a pastor. A minister, and this is why I don't go to church now. This is why I don't, half of these preachers, the only thing they praying for is that ass. about a preacher. I, I find him to be an even more despicable person in this scenario is because he was a person that he knew you looked up to and you admired. Oh my So it's God. pretty despicable. He's not your friend. Okay. <laughs> this lady, okay, she ain't know he wasn't her friend. This lady's, okay, I had no idea he wasn't my friend after he was waxing his ass. <laughs> okay, but he's not your friend, okay. 